All right, let's head straight out to the tropics. I know we have a, a disturbance that we are keeping an eye on now that's way out in the Atlantic. And I want you to look. Do you, do you see it? <laughs> it's very difficult to see at this point. It's just this little guy right there now. So so what's happening here? Well, we're way out ahead of anything developing here. Let's just put that out there. OK, the, we, the modeling has gotten to such that we can tell when things have a chance of developing before they really have any real chance of developing hardly. So uh, we got a long time to watch. This isn't going to happen overnight. It's not going to be happening the next couple of days. It'll be a number of days until it actually moves up into this region where it has a better chance of actually starting to come together. And then we'll be watching it as it continues to track off to the north and west. So if you're seeing stuff on Facebook already saying exactly where it's going to go, that's complete bunk. OK, nobody knows where this is going to go because nobody knows if this will end up eventually developing. And one thing the models have a really hard time with is if something hasn't fully formed yet, it's hard to know exactly where it's going to end up. Right. OK, so it's going to be uh, some time. Here's the, the American model, and it's not doing a great job right now with this one. It, it's, uh, it's it kind of pushes it over towards Cozumel by next weekend. But it keeps it pretty weak. Doesn't really show a whole lot of development there. But once again, don't get too caught up in just one model. OK, uh, we're going to be looking at another model later in the show. The European model, the European model definitely does develop this system, but it brings it more up the east coast of Florida. So there's a wide range of possibilities here because we're very early in this whole situation. OK, so it's going to take a number of days before we start to get any real clarity. So don't get anxious about it. Take a deep breath about it. <laughs> We've got plenty of time to watch. We are once again way ahead of what's going to happen out there. So we have plenty of time to track it. All right, back home. Showers and storms are already developing here this morning. A few brumbles of thunder with this one here around Dawes and Westmobile. So we've got some rain there. Also got some showers over here along Santa Rosa Island going over towards Navarre. So a few sprinkles and showers there. What's going to happen today? Same thing has been happening the last couple of days. It's going to storm, right? <laughs> yes, it will storm today across the area. Now, will you get one? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance, though, that you don't, you know, just how it goes. But a lot of us will see some showers and thunderstorms. And you look at the future casts and, you know, a lot of these don't look that impressive on future casts, but they are likely going to be big time rain producers again. So you could drive into completely blinding rain out there once again on your Sunday. So please be careful. And of course, you know, the Bayway I-10, especially on the westbound side, will be a complete mess day for people leaving the beach and such. So just be aware of that. Uh, there's going to be slowdowns out there that we'll have to contend with. And then you factor in some downpours on top of that and things can go really haywire out there on I-10 and whatnot. So be careful on your Sunday. Temperatures in the 70s here for us, mild and muggy to start the day off with. Doesn't look too bad. Here at the moment, next several hours, temperatures will be generally in the 80s. And by the time we hit lunchtime, we'll start seeing those showers and thunderstorms developing. And that's what's going to be the case today where it'll happen more into the afternoon. And that will see those chances of rain bubbling on up. So here's that planner, some sh scattered showers and storms here around lunchtime, some more isolated ones during the afternoon. Highs will be right around 90 degrees. Good news here, continue to have low rip current risk today and going into this upcoming week. So that is good to say, but we do have to dodge some showers and storms out there. All right, so here's your uh, long range forecast and uh, yeah, I've got the August 1st on the wrong day. It's actually Thursday, uh, but regardless of that, uh, we're looking at temperatures in the low 90s, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Pretty typical forecasts. We roll from July into August.